My name is Susan, also known as Senior Citizen Sue, and today I am going to be making a easy, spicy chicken salad. And normally I try to put a recipe up every Sunday, and it usually will appear on YouTube late Sunday afternoon Pacific time or early evening Pacific time. So, um, and I also do uh, various other unboxings, clothing, uh, some books and some other miscellaneous things and I do also do book reviews occasionally so a little bit of everything on my channel and if you're interested in that if you could hit the subscribe button and if you like this video if you could also click the like button it would help me out a lot okay so the first thing that we are going to do I'll run through the ingredients that you need and I will put everything that you need for this recipe and the directions down in the description box. Okay, so what we have here, uh, these are the ingredients first for the dressing. We need one uh, jalapeno pepper, seeded and chopped, a little bit of Tabasco sauce, Worcestershire sauce, sauce honey, red pepper flakes, mayonnaise, and... Um, mushrooms, tomatoes, and romaine lettuce, which I have in the refrigerator, and some frozen chicken patties. I'll show you those. And we will be cooking these according to the package directions. This is going to be topped on the uh, salad, and I'm going to slice them up. So I have my oven heating up to 400 degrees, and as soon as it is uh, Heat it up. I will pop these in and the directions say for 12 minutes. So I'll let them cool a little bit and then put them on the salad. But um, I'll show you here what I'm going to do. So hold it on. The first thing I'm going to do is seed this uh, jalapeno pepper. And I do not have gloves. The only gloves I have are the gloves that I use to clean my toilet and I won't be using those. So if I burn my fingers, oh well. So I'm going to cut the top off. First thing I'm going to do is cut the top off the jalapeno pepper. Slice it down the middle. Oop, oven's ready, so I'll get uh, the chicken patties out in a minute. And I'm just going to take my spoon and seed, get the membrane out and all of the uh, seeds. And this isn't too hot, but well, at least so far it's not. And I'll just rinse the rest of those seeds out. Okay, there we go. I got it out. And now I'm going to rinse the rest of it off so I can make sure all the seeds are off of it. Okay, since the oven is ready, I'm going to... Uh, get the chicken patties out and I sprayed this with uh, some cooking spray. Now this recipe is for four people so I'm going to figure maybe about two patties per person so that would be about eight here. All right I am going to get these in the oven and they will cook for what did I say? 12 minutes. All right, while the patties are cooking, I will finish uh, chopping up these jalapeno peppers or pepper. And this goes in the dressing mix. Okay, the, this looks pretty good. It's chopped fairly fine. So I'll put this in here. I'm going to mix my dressing up in this uh, measuring cup. Okay. Let me rinse my hands, get the pepper off. Okay, the next item that goes in here is one cup of mayonnaise, and you can use Miracle Whip if that is what you prefer. Let's get one cup in here. I 
have to be honest, I have not made this before. This is a recipe that I've had for a long time and I have not made it. So we'll see how it turns out. Okay. That looks pretty good. And then the next thing we'll, we will be putting in is two ta tablespoons of honey. Okay, let's get this. This is brand new, so I haven't opened it yet. Okay, now we need, let's see here, one half teaspoon of crushed red pepper. It's going to make it spicy for sure. You can use a little less or leave it out if you want. And now for the hot sauce, we have also have one half teaspoon. And then a half teaspoon of Worcestershire. That is everything that I need for the dressing. Let me double check there. Yes, so I will get this all mixed up. It does smell spicy. Okay, there it is. All right, now I need my mushrooms washed and clean. And it just says sliced mushrooms, not how many. So I'm going to use, oh, maybe one mushroom per person since it's four servings. Now I've read that, you know, you should wipe the dirt off, but other people say it's just fine to use the water, the soaking method, and that's what I'm going to do. Oh, and this bowl, this strainer, um, I got this from Kevia. So if you're interested in that video, I'll put a link up above, but let me, get these rinsed. In. Okay, the oven's beeping. We will get the chicken patties out and they are breaded chicken patties. Whoop. Okay, and here they are. They look good. They smell good. We'll let them cool. Oh, by the way, I sampled the dressing. It is really good, and I just put it in the refrigerator to keep it cold. Uh, okay, so I rinsed the mushrooms, so I'll put them on this towel to dry, or just to blot the water off of them, and it called, it didn't, yeah, my recipe does not say how many mushrooms I should use, just sliced mushrooms. But it does say one half cup of sliced cherry tomatoes. So I'll also wash these off. And I'll put in here what I think might be one half cup. Okay. Those drain a little bit and um, slice the mushrooms. Here, I'll just put the tomatoes on here. Whoop. Okay, let's get these sliced. I'll save this one out. Okay, I will get my cherry tomato sliced. All right, I have my sliced cherry tomatoes and my mushrooms over here. And it looks like it might be too much mushrooms. I don't know. But I'll just, I'm just going to kind of wing it here. And here is my romaine lettuce. And I, it calls for two cups of shredded. But I'm just going to kind of wing it. That looks good. Just stick it in here for the moment. 
Okay, I'm going to put some of the lettuce on this plate. Oh gosh, this looks, I think this is going to be good, especially with that dressing. And the next thing I'm going to do is slice up my chicken patties. And I'll cut those in strips. My dog's in here now. She smells the food. Lucy, her name is Lucy. And she is a loss of food. She was just standing right around the corner. Okay, kind of lay them out here in strips. I'll get the other one on. Okay, so here is what I have so far. The romaine lettuce on the bottom, then the chicken strips. And then I'm going to top it with the mushrooms and the tomatoes and sprinkle the dressing over it. So a little mushrooms here. Oh, this is going to be good. And I think I'll make that dressing again for other salads. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Maybe another tomato. I think I'll need more tomatoes too for if it's for four people. So here it is and let me get the dressing out. Hold I'm going to drizzle some of this dressing on here. That looks pretty good to me. Maybe a dash more. Okay, this is definitely a meal in itself. And here's a close-up look. Okay, here comes the true test. Let's see how it is. So let me make sure I get a little dressing on here. See if I, oh, maybe I should have cut the chicken up a little bit smaller, but I'm gonna see if I can get everything in this one bite. That's a mouthful. Ooh, and a tomato. Mm -hmm. Too big a mouthful, but this is delicious. I highly recommend it. And if you don't make anything else, the dressing, salad dressing itself is very, very good. But I love this chicken, the breaded chicken with this. It's delicious. Okay, I hope you try this recipe. If you do, let me know. And let me know how you like it. Thank you for watching my video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.